Night Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Back when I was a kid, Night Rider was my favorite TV show. It inspired me to get my first leather jacket when I was little, this 1992 Trans Am when I was in my early 20s. That car is probably the reason why I got into cars in the first place, so I guess I have Knight Rider to thank for that too. Here's some fun footage from a film I made with it back in 2009 or 8, something like that. In this video I'm specifically going to talk about the theme song and the music that inspired it. Every time you heard that theme, people would run to their television sets. It was different. It was the first one that was really a synthesizer main title. Knight Rider was tracked by the film editor or somebody, I don't know. I always assume the film editor because he's the one who walks in with this and says, oh, well, look what I found. Uh, perhaps it was somebody else. Uh, a German piece of synthesizer music. He put this little piece in, uh, and it seemed to work with the image of the of the car. I remember a th a theme out of a classic uh, piece. Uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, at the time of Mozart or something. That particular motif was not uncommon. Here's a song from 1923 with the same one. I took a little bit of that theme and embellished on it and worked with Stu Phillips. And uh, Glenn sat with me. We sat in an office down in, uh, uh, in Universal down on the with the little piano there, and we talked over a whole bunch of ideas of, of how to do it. And, um, and we collaborated for a bit on it, and he listened and he said, yeah, yeah, okay, I can, but I want to you know, make sure we get that sound. Well, what we ended up with is nothing like that piece of German synth music. The hope was to do something original, something maybe that was going to be uh, fresh and new. In doing my research for this video, I came upon a Reddit thread that described the songs that were used to inspire the theme song of Knight Rider. The comments compared it to the Queen and Vanilla Ice thing, which I'll get to in a minute. I took this as an opportunity to try to recreate those two songs together myself. Here it is. I don't know if I'd go as far as to call that original and new. However, they act like they spent a bunch of time and really they just played the song again. So now onto the Vanilla Ice and Queen thing. Did you know that Vanilla Ice straight up bought the rights to uh, Under Pressure? Ding 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 diggy ding ding. Ding 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 diggy ding ding. Ding ding ding. That's the way theirs goes. Ours goes ding 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 diggy ding ding. Ding 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 diggy ding ding. That little bitty change. Rap music, every major rap artist in the world samples music, you know? But you were sampling David Bowie Queen. Oh, yeah. Under Come pressure. Come on, of course. Okay. Hey, listen, I after had to the pay, lawsuit. I had to pay, after the lawsuit, the lawsuit worked out in my favor because I oh. ended up buying their song. Wow. Oh, it was shit. $4 million. Get the fuck and out of it was wow. one of the best investments. I didn't know it at the time. But you own Under Pressure now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck out no. of here. It was cheaper than, it was cheaper than, well, it was cheaper than, you know. What? Yeah. Wait, so you own Under Pressure. How well, you know how Michael, that's well, the great. same way Michael You're Jackson, brilliant. Michael Jackson bought the Beatles. How did that I work know. out? You know, yeah, people yeah, can buy yeah. publishing. I did not have a great deal of uh, knowledge about synthesizers. So I found three synthesizer players who did, and I hired all three of them. And um, then we made a cover of these two songs with the three synthesizers and the acoustical rhythm section. 
Obviously the Knight Rider theme and the Vanilla Ice thing are different because they didn't use samples of the music they were inspired by. And if you listen to that original synth tune in total, it does sound completely different than the Knight Rider theme. Stu Phillips stated in his earlier interview that they did in fact try to purchase that piece of music, the bass line being the main thing that they reused or took heavy inspiration from. And uh, they tried to buy it. In other words, they tried to purchase the piece, but it was, a, was not public domain or anything. So I said, we've really got to do something like that, but different. Glenn Larson goes on to state that they use a classical motif, which is not something uncommon in music creation. The two pieces that I shared earlier in this video that use that same motif not only sound nothing like Knight Rider, they sound nothing like each other. If it brings people out of the kitchen into the den to watch the television, that's what they want. And in this particular case, the minute you could not miss the opening bars of that theme. As popular as the show was, and as popular as the theme was, there was never anything done to promote the theme until 20 some odd years later, now all of a sudden everybody wants to do this. I've, there, there, are, there are three hit rap records that were out. The latest one was an Indian Punjabi MC and, and Jay-Z. <laughs> Plus uh, Busta Rhymes. YouTube made me delete this audio, but it's Busta Rhymes going, All oh, my ladies in the place to be, getting money where they next to me. One time, let me hear you say, fire it up. Say, fire it up. And it's got the Knight Rider beat in it, I promise. I'm not lying. I'm not making it up, I swear. YouTube made me take the audio out. And Timbaland and Magoo. YouTube also made me take the audio out of this, but it's the Knight Rider sample, and it's pitched down a little bit. And Timberland's rapping in his typical, you know, saying his name type of cadence like he does and uh yeah i really like the way that that guy said magoo he said magoo but all of those were hits and uh and in, so it took all of this time for somebody to actually want to do something with the night rider theme and uh, now it's uh, i think more popular than it was when it was popular <laughs> so let me just talk about this a little bit i feel like a lot of the people that sampled the night rider theme song did that because they grew up with the show either watching it when it was new or watching it in reruns much like I did and I think that that song like they said it just has this appeal that it brings you in and once you you know it makes you want to hear the rest of the song it makes you want to hear whatever is associated with it so by Glenn Larson Stu Phillips and whoever else worked on the theme song to Knight Rider doing this they actually created something that was more not more important but more culturally relevant than the music that inspired it and honestly that's pretty cool i see it but i don't believe it i have a book of fan mail that's unbelievable so overboard and so uh, generous with their uh, flattery <laughs> It's kind of exciting, you know, uh, it's like I've suddenly been rediscovered <laughs> and I guess uh, that comes from keeping a low profile most of your career. Mm -hmm. 